My name is Megan Perry and I'm from the United States and I came here to Stobie in order to learn more about various processes involving arche um, archaeological conservation. Um, we began doing mosaic work, um, actually removing the mosaics from the site. Um, initially they were cleaned in situ and then they were um, attached to organic glue and gauze in order to lift them from the site so that they could be restored and so that the um, excavation could continue below the surface without any further damage to the mosaic. Um, we had a little bit of some issues with the weather, but we were able to overcome those and perform a full conservation effort on the mosaics. Um, um, eight different fragments attaching new mortar and aluminum honeycomb so that they can be return to the site once the excavation is complete. Um, and then we began working on a fresco wall fragment um, of unknown provenance. And the process was very similar, um, although this particular piece was in a, sort of in a bad way. It had been stored by a different organization for years in really um, unideal conditions. And so the piece itself was completely shattered, the mortar was very, very brittle, and uh, it was already attached to an organic glue um, from the Verso. So um, we used the same process and applied the organic glue to the surface and then were able to gently flip it onto its face in order to remove the really brittle mortar from the back and apply a much more stable but removable um, fresh mortar um, that's going to provide uh, for years of stability for the remaining fragments and uh, this is a completed piece of that fragment which still has a lot of work to be done to the rest of it but i um, very satisfied with the results and I feel that I've learned a lot of various techniques and we've had a lot of interesting conversations regarding the philosophy and um, ethics of conservation, when to stop, and uh, kind of what the difference between a conservative effort and a restorative effort are, which has been really fascinating.